Hi guys, let me show you how to fix Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration. One of the first things that we can try is to go into the search bar right here and type power. And here you're going to see the choose a power plan option. Click on it. When this window opens, you want to click into choose what the power buttons do. And inside of here, click into change settings that are currently unavailable. Now, you want to disable turn on fast startup. Turn that off and then restart your system and see if the problem is done. For another option, go into the search bar, type run, and open the run app right here. Now, inside of here, you want to type ncpa.cpl and click into OK. When the windows of the network connections get open, you want to select your Ethernet, right click into it, and go into properties. From the properties right here, you want to select the Internet Protocol version 4 and click once more into properties. Now, obtain IP address automatically. You can leave it like both. One thing that I recommend you guys is to change the obtain DNS service address automatically and change it for use the following DNS server address into the preferred DNS server to set it all into once, as you can see right here, and into the alternate to set it everything into eights. Once you have done that, you want to click in OK and close this menu and open once more the run app that we used before. And in here you want to type hdwwic.cpl and click into OK. The device manager is going to get open and now you want to search for where you see the network adapters right here, expand that menu. And here you're going to have different ones depending on the model of card that you have it's going to be different. Or you want to search for the Ethernet controller. Right click into it and click from here, click into update driver. This is going to search automatically for drivers in the internet and it's going to install them. Now, if you already have the best drivers installed, what you can do is to right click into it and uninstall the device. Then you want to click right here on this icon where you see a scan for hardware changes. And normally Windows is going to download and install the latest drivers automatically. Once more, after every solution, you want to restart your PC and look if the problem is done. Now, another option is using the command prompt. For that, you want to go into the search bar once more and type CMD. You're going to see right here the command prompt and I recommend you guys that you right click into it and you click into run as administrator. When you have the command prompt open, you want to type net sh space windsock reset and press enter when everything is done now you want to type net sh ent ip reset and press one more enter as you can see you will have to restart the computer to complete this action now for this next option you want to right click where you see your internet connection on the right side of your screen and click into network and internet settings. From here, go into advanced network settings and more network adapter options. We're going to be right back in this window that we used before. Now, from here, right click once more into the internet, click into properties and scroll down until you find the internet protocol version six and you want to disable this click into OK and you can close the window. This is the option we're going to make a scan of your system. So go once more into the command prompt and inside of here you want to type chkdsk space c forward slash f and press enter. It's going to ask you to shell do a this checking. Type yes and press enter. After doing that, a check this scan is going to be shell do it. And now all that you have to do is to reset your PC. Now, the last options that you guys can do is to check your Ethernet, your router, your Ethernet cable, because it can happen that something is unplugged or it isn't working. If nothing like this helps, if you can get another router from a friend and try it out or contact your network provider. If this video helped you solve your problem, let me a comment down below and don't forget to drop a like. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this one. See you guys on the next time. Bye bye.